So we're gonna take this car for a nice little joyride. Okay. And then after that, we're gonna mod it. We're gonna mod it? <laughs> We're modding the Hellcat today. Say goodbye to the Camry because it's leaving this week. This is going to be one of the last vlogs with the Camry. Now I know to some of you guys, you guys can care less, but you know, this car has been really, really good for me. This car has been here since the humble beginnings and now it's just crazy. I own two Hellcats, Trackhawk, we got the Miata. I just closed the deal on three supercars. <laughs> three supercars. Okay, exotic supercars, whatever the heck you guys want to call it. I closed the deal on it, and all I had to do was sell the Camry, my Honda Civic, which I'm working on, and another car behind the scenes for me to be able to trade up and start having a crazy, crazy garage. Including also the Bronco, which I just got something in the mail, but we're going to say that for the next vlog. It's a great day, you guys. And we got a new garage door, because, yeah, the other one, it wasn't working. It doesn't have to fight me anymore. What's going on you guys? Welcome back. Now today, we finally got our mod in the mail. It's from Ripatoon. From what I'm reading, it says it's gonna be adding about 75 more horsepower to this car. Now do I know if that's gonna be true or not? I have no freaking clue, but there's only one way to find out, and that's to just do a before and after run. This is never gonna get old. And just shout out to Ben Pack for this lift, because honestly, you guys, I just, I cannot thank them enough. And on top of that, we got the quick jacks on the Honda, because this is what I was talking to you guys about. We are going to be selling the Honda this week as well. So Honda's going bye-bye, Camry's going bye-bye. We got three new supercars coming into the garage. They're, well, two and a half. Let's go with two and a half supercars, because well, you guys will get it once you guys see them. But trust me, you guys are not going to want to miss it. Boys and girls, look at the view, man. How's the weather doing up there, Miata? <laughs> now, for some of you guys that are asking about the Miata and what's going on, well, there is a few things that I have to finish. There's a few bugs that I wanna make sure I get taken care of because obviously you guys know that the way everything was done on this car, well, I already rerouted most of the piping, but I just wanna make sure that everything operates and works good. This is the power steering. Remember, this thing was removed with the power steering, and now I wanna be able to take the power steering off the donor car so that not only can we hear this thing run, but we wanna hear it drive. It's probably gonna be done in the next vlog so that we could be able to hopefully have this car finally driving so we could jump on all the body work, pull the engine out, and get this thing done and wide body. Trust me, you guys are not gonna wanna miss it. It is going to look sick. The plans that we have for this car is just gonna be amazing. Look at how freaking nice Phoenix's paint job looks. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I was working on the Honda last night, right? And I was trying to get the quick jacks to work. And when I was trying to bleed them, well, one of the screws came out and it popped and it went everywhere. I'm talking about just a straight whole shot. But luckily it did not get the coffee maker. It got that one, but you know, we don't use that one. And it also got on Phoenix. Now, we ended up cleaning Phoenix all last night. I did not get any of this on camera because it was just so unexpected when that thing freaking exploded. But you know what? You guys get to see the after and oh man, does it look so freaking clean. You guys have no idea how cool this freaking is. This is going to be the simplest, easiest mod, but it's easily going to give me like 75 80 more horsepower from what I've been seeing on videos what they were telling me everyone like go look it up But the only way I think that we could actually test to see if this really does work Well, we got to do it before and after so Oh my god, that's just too freaking nice It only cost me $38 to fill up my tank. That's what I'm talking about, Dodge. Well, that's what I'm talking about, America, because yeah, these, these gas prices is looking really good right now. <laughs> guys, you guys have no idea. And of course, Brandon is not ready like he never is. Really? Yeah. Took you long enough. You were supposed to be ready, bro. I am ready. Yeah, you ready? I'm more than ready. He thinks we're just driving the car around, you know, just take a few cool shots. He has no idea that I'm doing a mod to it, and we're going to actually test it out and get a before and after. Yeah. This is for real? This is real life? <laughs> is it filming? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo! He's super excited. <laughs> so we're gonna take this car for a nice little joyride. Okay. And then after that, we're gonna mod it. We're gonna mod it today? <laughs> I'm we're drilling, gonna, hold yeah, yeah, we're gonna mod it. We're gonna mod it. <laughs> and it should hopefully get another 75 horsepower to the wheel. Like real wheel oh horsepower. My God. So, you know what I'm saying? Oh my God. It's about like 20 minutes away from the shop and it's all highway. So it kind of works out because then we can actually do the testing oh on highway to see how it is and then go from there and oh test God. it. <laughs> yeah, and then test it out after we mod it. I'm gonna have a heart attack. You're gonna have a heart attack? Yeah. You're not gonna have a heart attack. You'll be fine. Yo! Going on the highway. Going on the highway. Woo! <laughs> oh! Oh! Told you this is. This thing. channel. Yo, this thing. This thing is quiet <laughs> fast, bro. That's what I like about it, though. It's so not, dangerous. Yeah, like. There we go. Oh, leave those in there. What we gotta do now is we gotta mod this thing. Well, first we gotta let it cool down. We gotta change this out, this out. We got some extensions because I think they got more stuff. So you take out your old ball out, then you put this thing over it, and then you screw in these three things. And what it does is it widens so it gives it more travel. Then you change out your supercharger belt for this one, and then you have your other belt that's this one to achieve optimum for us. Last but not least, enjoy your new power, baby. He <laughs> said power. More power, baby. How do you spell power? They didn't spell it right. It was supposed to be P-O-W-A-A, baby. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time, whoa, what is that, Phoenix? Why are you leaking? Uh-oh, we got some leaking going on. That looks like engine oil. That's oil. That's oil? Where could it be leaking? Ooh, this back here is soaked. Wait. <laughs> Look at that. Watch your watch yourself. Oh yeah. Oh my god. That went from modding to fixing my car. <laughs> Real quick. All right, well listen, hey, I got some more work. So we're gonna have to probably drop the oil pan, drain the oil out, do an oil change, change the damper at the same time, and get all this situated. And thank God I got the quick jacks because you know what? That's gonna turn this, it's never two minutes. Why does it never, it's never two minutes, guys. Let me go get an oil pan gasket and then yeah. Took out all the, all the bolts and I'm supposed to, I'm counting this out. This is a $110 oil pan gasket, by the way. $110 gasket, because it's like metal with everything, but anyways. So the way I'm doing it for this Hellcat, I gotta count out how many holes, which there's 24 of them, 20 small ones, and then four big ones. And this should pretty much be the same amount of bolts in here, so let me actually count. One, two, three, four. Man, Brandon doesn't know how to run camera. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I cut you guys out while I was in the middle. So what happened was, let me catch you guys up to date. I released everything. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Between dropping the oil pan, getting everything out, cleaning all this extra just, but the good news is, look how clean the oil pan looks now. And we cleaned all of that off. You see how it looks nice and shiny now? We cleaned every single little bit of gasket. So now, if my mind serves correct, 
with this new gasket, we should be free and clear. No RTV, we're gonna have just straight, just a straight gasket. Just jump back to work. Well, we did it guys. Everything is done. Well, kind, well, yeah, no, not kind of. We completely are done. Everything is put back together. Oil paint is back on. Everything is back on together. I cleaned up everything, so hopefully there should not be no more oil leaks. If there's an oil leak, I am going to light this car on fire. <laughs> I'm gonna bring Brandon home because it's been a long day for Brandon. And then we're gonna come back, me and you guys, right? So we gotta actually finish modding this, and then after that, we actually have to take care of the exhaust, so you guys might even just see me work tonight and get the exhaust done on the, on the Honda Civic. So then that way, that one's got to go this week. This one needs to get the finished mod because I need to get ready for the new projects. They don't even know about the new projects yet. Hey. Good morning, Vietnam! <laughs> well, I should say good evening, actually. So check it, guys. So we're taking a break on the Hellcat, and we have to finish up the Civic. This is going to probably be the last time you guys see the Civic because... Ooh, who's texting me this thing? This is going to probably be the last time you guys see the Civic because, well, like I told you guys already, I sold the Civic. That's right, the Civic's gonna be gone because we're upgrading it and we're trading it up for an exotic. Well, we're gonna do oil change, oil pan gasket replacement, redo the whole exhaust, and all the just maintenance crap. Camry sold too, by the way. Selling everything, except Phoenix. Miata's for sale. No, it's not, I'm just joking. All right, let me get to work, I'm going around. Well, 50 gloves later, and a new gasket, and some words. That looks brand spanking new. Woo! So now we gotta do finish up this exhaust, and we'll just weld everything up, and hopefully now with this new lift, I'll be able to do it in like 15, 20 minutes tops. Okay, I'll say 30. Let's just, you know what I'm saying, I don't wanna get too brave. Let's see if we can get this done in 30 minutes. Game freaking changer, guys. A million times better. Look at that. You, know, you guys can see that? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's so much easier to weld when you're under, like when you have a big old lift to lift the car up for you and you're not there straggling trying to get up under there. Damn, I finished the whole exhaust in under 20 minutes. All right, guys, moment of truth. That's what happens when you get a new battery, put a new cat in, 202 sensors, New exhaust, oil change. Yeah, my cousin better thank me. <laughs> that thing is so weak. <laughs> Guys, we have a little bit of a problem. And well, it looks like it has a wobble to it. And it's making a weird noise, right? You can see it, right? Huh? I don't think we're gonna be able to keep it this way. Everything is torqued down. I put all the bolts, the little Allen screws. I did everything possible to make sure that everything was done right. So, oh, damn. I literally go to pull this freaking car out and it's leaking oil. Oh, yeah. I, I cooled off. I'm on here. the phone with Dodge. Yeah. Figured out the problem. It's a defective power steering pump. It failed. It's leaking out the front. Second power steering pump I had to put in this car. The second? This is the second pump. <laughs> One, two, and there we go, boys and girls. Yes, this should solve our problem. Woo! Boys and girls, we did it. We modded, we broke, and fixed the Hellcat. I'm gonna just do a test breakout again out there 
And if it all holds up and everything looks good, great. If it doesn't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just try to stay calm and patient. This should work. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my God, you guys. It's been a long day. I gotta drop them off again. I'm not gonna drive any longer on the Hellcat right now because even though it's fixed, there is a lot of belt squeak. I gotta clean the belts off and I'm probably gonna call the guys from Rip Tune. But in the meanwhile, I'll just take it back off and I gotta at least back and drive on Phoenix. You gonna drive me back home? Yeah, but we're gonna go in the Camry. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, Gary Lyon. I'm getting out. Uh, let's go. This is going to be a long drive. Woo! Just like your Hellcat. That does not sound like my Hellcat. <laughs> Do not disrespect. She's trying to disrespect the Hellcat. We're going to pass through because the kids have never been. Have you guys They've ever? They've never been no. in a car wash. You, they've never been through a car wash. Yes. <laughs> 300 and 2,000 Need some WD-40 there? No. I'm scared. You're scared? I'm scared. 